hi guys welcome back to another video if it's your first time watching on my channel welcome uh, today I am going to be sharing with you how to do the short passion slash spring twists you will see why I'm saying that in a few seconds or minutes I'm starting off on stretched hair I've had my hair in twists for about two days I had gone in with a blow dryer so it's a little bit straighter than just allowing my hair to air dry so I did go through with my blow dryer just a little bit woohoo side to side baby <laughs> I start by parting off the front section however big I want the front section to be that's what I'm going to part off first for me, parting is not the easiest. I always struggle with parting and so I am speeding it up but I'm kind of just showing you, you know, the process. I have two mirrors, one in front of me and one behind me. I don't really need it right now because it's just the front section. I am going to go ahead and put that up in a scrunchie. And let's start with the back now this part really made me second guess doing this hairstyle I mean I've done hairstyles that require parting in the back but my advice to you um, is to have two mirrors one in front of you or one behind you I've seen them I've seen a couple like you know stuff that people use there's a particular mirror on Amazon that I've thought about buying um, if I can find it, I'll put a picture here or I'll link it below. I know that you can use that when you're parting your hair for the front and for the back. So you can actually see what you're doing. Now I'm going to go in with my jam. For each section of hair that I do, I'm going to go in with jam. I am starting out a little small. So you'll see that these very ones at the very back of my head are going to be smaller than the ones that I do in the middle so I'm starting off with smallish parts or kind of small sections and then as we progress the parts the sections will get bigger what you saw me doing just now for the first row I'm just gonna keep going straight up until I get to the top and I'm just gonna fast forward these parts with a little music now that the back is finished we're going to move on to the front I think one thing you want to make sure is that you know the the um the middle of your hair is parted properly so take the time whatever time you need to take today I'm actually doing a side part so it's the first thing you're going to see take your time to actually part it properly if no else no part good <laughs> please make sure that the front section you know looks presentable once again I am going in with my jam I'm going to grab a small elastic band that I've dipped in oil. I'm going to hold down the hair as I repeat the process. Once I know that it's secured, I just keep tightening the elastic band until I get the desired look that I want. You don't want to do these too tight, none of them too tight. Please, 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 please. There will be too much tension and really and truly you're doing this style to protect your hair right so if you're doing them tight then you're defeating the purpose i've completed all the sections i had 34 at the back and then on each side at the front i had 15 so in total i had 60 sections for this hairstyle i'll be using this ghana twist springy water wave hair it's 24 inches and it's in the color number two because I wanted my passion twist to be short 
I took out each bundle of hair and I cut it in two and that's just what I'm showing you here all right so I've gone ahead and I did the back now let's try and focus on the front you want to make sure that you add jam from root to tip this just helps the hair to blend better with your hair um, I've seen some people use the crochet method where they actually pull the hair under the elastic band I'm not doing that. I'm doing the way that I saw chic natural do hers All right, so the same way how you would make a regular plait that requires three strands We're gonna take the same approach Your strand of hair that you added jam to as well as the two strands that you'll get from the extension you're going to treat it as if it's your hair and you're just going to create a plait as firm as you can and while you're doing this try to cover the try to cover the elastic band I make about two to three plaits once I know that the hair is secure I start doing my twists I'm going to show you that again I also used one pack of hair not two because I cut the braids in two. I really didn't need two. I had hair left over actually. So I'm using my hair as well as the passion twist and I loop the hair over my hair. I twist my fingers as you would do a regular plait. And then I put my hair under and in the middle and I keep going as firmly as I can. I didn't want to do these too tight. They're probably not as tight as they could have been, but it was definitely secure. So now I'm just gonna go in. Oh, I forgot to mention, I do separate the, the, my, my hair into two parts. So I separate my hair into two parts and I add each section to each side of the passion twist here. And then I just twist like normal. If you have questions, of course, you know that you can just leave them in the, um, the comment section and I just work my way through. Once I've completed all the braids, I did go in and cut the hair. You know, just I wanted it on a certain level. I never really wanted a bob, but I wanted like, you know, like I wanted it to kind of fall at a particular spot. So I'm just trying to make sure that everything is even. And now I'm going to go in and put elastic bands on the ends of these before they start unraveling. You can see a few of them unraveling. I did go in and fix those. Once I've done that, I like to go in and just trim each braid. I like to just go in and trim off the little flyaways that's normally on each braid. I did go in and add some mousse too once I finish doing everything else. The lighting in my bathroom is terrible. I can't always fix it. Please bear with me. I hope you guys can see everything that I've shown so far clearly. 
and this is what they look like I know some persons would probably hide the bleached ends I am not quite sure how to tuck my hair I haven't really learned that just yet so I'm not quite there yet I still think it came out good so but if I knew how to I would have tucked the bleached ends into the actual twists yeah girl and there was not a lot of tension on my hair you can see I can put it up I can wear it down I can put it on one side I did make an error though I don't know if I mentioned that because the twist that she naturally used was passion twist and I realized that I was using spring twist and not passion twist so you'll notice that some of my twists are like super crinkly or curly that's not necessarily what I wanted but I still think it came out really nice this took me about 12 long hours I started at 4 and I wasn't done until about 2 I did take a break to get something to eat my hands were tired as hell but I got it done so here I'm just showing you just a sneak peek of some of the styles I did with this hairstyle if you want to see more turn on your post notifications for when this video drops subscribe to my channel for more content like this and I'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>